again, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic painting tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So make sure to hit subscribe so you can join the fun and paint along, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Right, so it is June, it is Pride Month, and I have a really fun and hippie kind of psychedelic rainbow tie-dye painting today, and I thought rainbow gotta make it pride. Um, so I have a nice little message uh, on top of this composition with a peace sign, a heart, and an equal sign for peace, love, and equality. I have a full rainbow of colors here, of course, for my rainbow background. We're gonna start with the background step today. So I have a little bit of ultramarine blue, some purple, some cadmium red, cadmium orange, yellow, a little bit of my favorite phthalo green, and a fair amount of white. I'm going to be starting uh, with my two brushes here. Actually, these are the only ones that we need for the whole class, just the two today. So this medium-sized pointed brush and a small a detail brush. Gonna get those in my water cup off the side of the screen. If you'd like to see a full materials list of everything that you need to paint along, go ahead and check the description box below. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my medium-sized brush for the background here to start. And I'm going to start with blue. And I'm going to add a little bit of white and a little bit of water into a nice kind of medium light blue color here. Just like so, a little bit of white uh, will help the black lettering and symbols look a little bit more bold so they don't get quite as lost in the background if we do a little bit of a lighter color so a little bit of white there and i'm going to start right in the center with a swirl and i want that swirl to come around the bottom here and come all the way up and over the other side and this would technically get carried all the way over there as well and now that we have our main little shape here. What we're going to do is go over that line with brush strokes that come out in either direction. Okay, a little bit of water into the paint, helps it go nice and smooth and soak into that canvas texture. Okay, we're gonna go round and round this shape you wanna make sure that you completely cover up that line that you just made. So lots of, plenty of paint on there. Okay. And we're just going to make sure that we're staying perpendicular here with the line and that our brush strokes are going in the shape of that curve. Every brush stroke matters, I say that in most of my classes because it's true. Okay, and just up and down for our first color of our lovely rainbow tie-dye. Okay, looking good. You want it to be about the same width until you start to get into the outside edge here. And then it's going to be a little bit fatter And we're gonna have some blue peeking in from the other corner here of the canvas, just like so. Lovely. Okay, and now I'm just gonna kind of walk my way up my rainbow here. And the next color that I'll add is light purple. So purple with white together and also just a little bit of water, just like the blue. And we're gonna go right on top of our blue and it's going to blend a little bit. What you want, it's like the tie-dye knots and everything, creating that gradation effect that we're mimicking here with our brush today. So we wanna have some purple brush strokes that are nice and bold and purple, and then some kind of blend it into that blue section a little bit like so. It's a little bit of a gradation from one color to the next. And if you lose your blue, if you got too much purple in there, you can add some more right back on top. 
always keep in mind that acrylic painting is kind of a play. You can always go on top of it again with another layer, go back and forth until you find that balance of color. Okay, a little bit more paint here, mixing as I go. And that purple's gonna come into this corner here and just keeping all of those brush strokes along that curved line. That's what's gonna give that awesome effect. Just like so. Okay, remember there is no such thing as perfection. Especially with paintings like this, I think you'll be surprised at how forgiving <laughs> this tie-dye is. And how pretty simple it is to get that nice effect. Okay, making sure that it's all filled into the canvas texture, soaking in there. All the way around, how cute. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my brush and come in with the next color. I picked up a little bit of orange there on my towel. <laughs> I wanna do some pink next though, so just red and white together. Gorgeous pink color. Very nice, and that is going to go right on top of purple. And a little bit further kind of into your spiral shape there. Okay, and same idea, just keep it going. And that pink is gonna blend into the purple a little bit, just like so a little bit more red in there will be nice. Yes. I want to go quite to the pastels, but you can. Pastel tie-dye looks great as well. I like to have a little bit of vibrancy for that kind of classic rainbow look. Okay. Bringing it all the way around. Keeping all of those brush strokes consistent. I'm gonna go in there and blend a little bit once I have that area sort of more filled in. And this is a fun one. Yeah, you can also go in with just a moist brush like I did just there. Uh, if you're having a little trouble blending with too much paint on your brush. Your brush is a tool, you can use it however you see fit. Okay, look at that effect we are getting. So pretty. If you are painting along today, I would love to see your work. And I created a Facebook group called The Art Club that is designed specifically for my students to do just that. So if you're painting this June for Pride Month or just thought this was a really fun summery get together painting, I would love to see your painting or your group. And we would love to have you over in the art club and you can post that there so we can all see it's a very supportive community full of amazing artists. I believe we almost have 2,000 members. I think it's 1.7 right now. Gotta look. It's growing slower than the channel. <laughs> I know that it's not quite not quite there, but it's still that's a pretty good sized group. So thank you if you are a member of the art club. And I love to see your paintings and I'd love to hear your feedback too, where these paintings end up. It's my favorite part of my day. Okay, a little bit of orange now, working our way up the rainbow. Almost running out of space in our palettes. 
a little bit more orange, so I'm not too sherberty. Okay. Right there in the center. We want to have space to get our yellow and also a green. So this orange might be a little bit smaller. Probably went a little bit too wide with my other colors. So I'll kind of bring my orange into my red a little bit. But once we get all those colors down, the rainbow effect is gonna look really good, regardless of how even your rows are. So no worries there. Okay. Oh, gotta do this little orange corner over here, almost forgot. Okay. Nice, and then just to yellow. A little bit of white there as well. Okay, right next to the orange, just have one very small little gap left for my green, which will go into my blue a little bit. Okay, blending that into my orange slightly. <laughs> okay, and just bring that all the way around. Very psychedelic. I'm very much a tie-dye kind of person. Always been a flower child at heart. Pulled a little bit of pink in there. Look at how nice that rainbow is looking. We are almost to our last color, which will complete the rainbow. Blending those two together a little bit. Okay. Nice. And final color will be green. And I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to my green to make it nice and vibrant. And scoop some more white in here. For a nice bright green. And this is going to come into the blue a little bit. And that will sort of complete our whole little psychedelic color journey. Your blue will probably be dry, but you can still pull that color into it a little bit. It's gonna blend a little bit with the yellow as well. I'm just going all the way around. Very fun. You can adjust this spiral as need be. If necessary. I think I might come in with a little bit more yellow in just a minute. Very light texture with my brush. Just trying to be consistent. The direction of those brush strokes and we are almost finished. This was the uh, lengthy portion of today's tutorial. It's much easier 
the uh, second step today when we come back. So good job if you've made it this far. Let me know in the comment section, say I made it. <laughs> bit more green in here. Okay. Lovely. Look at how pretty that is. Okay, you can adjust any area that you might need. I'm saying I think I need a little bit of just like a vibrant purple. A little bit too light. Right there. that area just be a little bit more opaque. Okay, this, and perhaps also a little more yellow. Like I mentioned, I thought I needed trying to find some clean white, but we had fun with mixing these colors today. So lots of, lots of mixing happened today. Lots of blending. All right. I think we're just about at a stopping point. It's looking pretty good to me. Just balancing out my yellow slightly. Bit more. I am a perfection seeker, although I may not be a perfection believer. <laughs> okay. All right, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead now and let this layer dry and we're gonna come back and add our final touches. So I'll see everyone in a few. Okay, welcome back artists. We have a completely dry rainbow background and I also have some fresh colors on my piece of palette paper here. So I have a little bit of black and white, small amount of red, blue, and a little bit more of my phthalo green. I rinsed my brushes and got fresh water at break as well. All right, let's go ahead and jump right back into it. I'm going to use my smallest brush and I'm going to start with the center shape here, which is going to be my heart. So a little bit of water into my paint as per usual. And then right in the center here, I'm going to create my heart. You wanna just kind of eyeball it here to go dead center. And the key here is just matching one side to the other. I'm going to try my best here. <laughs> okay, looks pretty good. And then adjust from there just to get a nice solid black line. And we're trying to make it as even as possible, but it's okay if it looks a little bit wonky. Still cute and kind of part of that fun hippie vibe anyway. Okay. All the way around. Nice, solid line, and then we're gonna fill that in in a minute as well, but for now, we're just gonna let that be. And right next door, I'm going to do a circle. Now you can use something circular in your house if you want. I'm just gonna kinda oof, go for it. <laughs> it's very nerve wracking and then come back and try to perfect a circle as best as I can. You can try also just 
painting with water first before you use the black paint too is a good tip. Hopefully not too late. <laughs> Okay, and just want to evenly thicken that up a little bit. I can kind of adjust this once I add my other colors too, so it's okay if it's not perfect. Line straight down the center and two on the side, just like so for our lovely peace sign. And then right on the other side, we're just gonna have an equal sign, very simple. We want to have that pretty big though, pretty fat lines to match our other shapes. I like the way this symbols, uh, symbol trio turned out because I feel like it almost looks like a secret code or something like a alien language, <laughs> which I guess it is. And that's the message here is peace, love and acceptance of all people, no matter what you look like or who you choose to love. And just fattening up those black lines and making them flat on the ends as well. Nice and neat. Super cute. Okay, and then we're gonna use our same brush. Gonna rinse it. And I'm gonna grab white now. I'm gonna go right underneath my equal sign here with the white. This is a little graphic design trick. Black and white together shows up on almost any background. <laughs> and then on the inside here of my heart, I'm going to do a white outline. like so and taking this opportunity to sort of adjust the black line if I need to super cute Okay, pulling a little bit of black into my white there, so just to clean that up a little bit. Okay, moving on to my peace sign. I think I'm actually really quick gonna thicken this up a little bit. Can have nice even lines all throughout. Okay, and I'm gonna bring the white into my peace sign as well. And we're just kind of outlining the inside of the shapes here. Inlining? <laughs> Rather than outlining. I think it looks really cute just with the black and white to be honest and I like it just as much as filled in with the colors I can't decide which way I like better but we'll add some colors just for fun, but just know that you can stop here if you want too, because I think this looks really fun and cool. Just as is. Or you can fill in those inner shapes a little bit. So for the heart, for instance, you can fill that in with pink. 
kind of fun to see the rainbow colors underneath too though, so it's up to you. Too late now though. <laughs> We're going for it. Okay, and just delicately filling that in. There's our final step here, and this is totally customizable too, whatever colors you like. You can fill that in with, or you can not fill it in too, as I mentioned. Okay, nice and solid, don't wanna see background. Cute, see, I mean, that looks really cute also. I don't know which one I like better. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of blue on top of my equal signs, just for fun. Just like so, one little blue line. Purple would be cute there too. And then my phthalo green to fill in my peace sign. Always love that color. I like the way the black and white looks just on the rainbow background, but I feel like these filled in shapes kind of remind me of like hippie stickers, which I like too. Let me know in the comments section which way you like better or post your finished paintings in the art club or both. <laughs> okay, I'm just being very careful here. Getting that last section filled in. And then we have our secret message of peace, love, and acceptance. And a great piece of art for our house or for a gift, just for fun. <laughs> Let me know what you thought of today's painting in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. I do wanna really quick just mention that I am offering a free webinar in just a couple weeks. They're gonna be ongoing though on how to start an arts and crafts business from home. So if you would like to learn how to use your creative skills to pay the bills, check the description box below. A link will bring you over to my website where you can check out more information about that. Just hit like if you liked today's painting and that is all the instruction that I have for everyone. So until next week, stay creative.